First of all, he's a very, very good guy. He's a good guy for the team. He's a good guy in the locker room. He's very funny to be around. He jokes a lot. Uh, he's awesome to be around. Bees is excellent on the ball out of the back. He can play the diagonal ball. He can play short. And he reads the game really well. And I think that that's, that's a good combination between him and Colin. He's great on the ball, first and foremost. Um, he's always in the right spot, especially uh, me playing on his side. I, I always know where he's going to be so I can feel comfortable uh, stepping up or if I need to sit back or something or whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, more than anything, I think he brings balance to our back line. He's good on the ball. You know, he's very calm on the ball and he plays very simple. Uh, he don't take any stupid risk in, in the back. Uh, you know, he don't mind you just kick it out for a throw and if he's in trouble, uh, he's that kind of defender you love to have at your team. He's a great leader for this team especially. Um, he's not the type of guy that's going to jump down your throat or anything like that, but when he says something, it's something that you want to pay attention to because uh, you know it's important. My understanding of the game has, has gotten a lot better and I, I do think it takes a couple years to get used to the way MLS works and the way teams play. You know, he got experience, he got some games behind him now. Uh, you can see he's, he's growing on his presence on the field and his attitude on the field. It's a very back and forth physical game and um, I think I understand that. I, I know the right times to play and I know the right times to, to kick the ball out and be direct as a defender. You know, there's nothing wrong with that sometimes. Uh, I think he's outstanding, he's good in the air, he's fast, he got a good left foot, he's reading the game very well. and. I'm very surprised that he's not a part of the, the U.S. national team. Each year he wants to know at the end of the season, what should I work on between now and the start of the season? Um, and he listens, and he, and he really has taken a lot of pride to understanding what it takes to be a pro and what it takes to win in this league. We're defending 100% of the game. We're always defending. If we have the ball, we're defending. My role, anyways. We've really focused on that um, this year of being ready for anything and defending pretty much at all times. One thing this group has done really well is there's been a consistency over this season that we have played very well at times and if we had a dip we got right back onto our form pretty quickly. I feel good. I feel, uh, feel confident. We've proven it the entire season. I mean there's no one individual. It's a, it's a group of guys. It's a team. It's, there's nobody sitting there saying that I'm the man or anything. They all go into this together. I think we're going into this playoffs uh, more relaxed, kind of letting the game come to us and we'll see what happens.